Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Cancer and Pisces, the relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on in this dynamic. This is a separate read. The other one was just way too watered down. I'm still going to go ahead and post it. You guys are more than welcome to check it out on both my channels, right? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, this shouldn't be in this deck. Oh, all right. Something with stars. All right. Whatever that is for you, there's something about results. Whenever you see stars and Lenormand, it's about results. Something with results going on here. I don't want to take it, but I'll keep it. I'll put it over here. You guys can't see it, but I'm going to put it over there. Just in case I need I know me. I'm going to reference it. I probably will. So for some of you guys here, it has something to do with... Um, Something with the stars, something that's some kind of cunning behavior, something like that. There's something up with somebody's behavior. What's going on in this relationship, please? What's going on in this relationship? This should not take too long. I'm just looking up this direction, creation, navigation. Somebody's trying to figure out which way to go. Okay. Cancer, what's going on? I want to tell you guys straight up, I'm viewing this, I'm reading this from the perspective of a partnership because it, it's coming across very strong. It actually came across strong in the other read too, but I did include love in it. This one is not so loving, so. <laughs> I know, right? Not so loving. However, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Your energy, please. Cunning results in advancement. Somebody's doing something to get, a, a get ahead. This could have something to do with a country. This could have to do with a government. This could have to do with a job. Somebody's trying to do something conniving or cunning to get ahead in a situation. All right. Could be a country. Somebody's trying to figure out a way because that's about reflecting on something. Somebody's trying to harmonize something. There's something with a confession that comes out for cancer. In this relationship with Pisces, we have confession that comes out. Cancer, give me more in this relationship with Pisces, please. Give me your energy in this relationship. With Pisces, please. Illuminati hub. There's something about a confession coming out about a, an Illuminati hub. I'm assuming that's uh, something that has to do with a group of people. Well, you know, I don't... Whatever you say. Everybody believes something different. You can all read the same book and everybody going to say, Oh, it happened. And other ones are like, I didn't. So there's something with a confession about an Illuminati hub. This could have to do with something nuclear for cancer. This is coming up. There's a confession coming from cancer. Or cancer's writing towards a confession here. I want to be very clear in this read. It does specify, <clears throat> it does specify, it looks like it's two cancers here. I'm going to take it from that perspective. It looks like there's two cancers here. For some decks, if you're looking at a, a, the astrological chart, the chariot is going to be Sagittarius. Otherwise, it's cancer. There's this energy that comes in between you guys. There's a confession. Cancer, there's a confession about an Illuminati hub. Something having to do with nuclear. We also have here something having to do with the church. So you guys are going to hear some confessions come out of cancer. Or this is in cancer's energy. I, they may not want somebody to, to confess something about an Illuminati hub that is nuclear having to do with the church. All right. So we have that. Pisces, give me your energy in this relationship, please. I don't want you to, there's a confession about an Illuminati hub, a nuclear, something nuclear in the church. Something to hit in the sky, nuclear, obviously, is very fiery. I don't know. It looks like, I don't know what that is. It looks like it could be a rural area, something with the church. Pisces, give me your energy. Inside job. There's a confession that something was an inside job. Now, Pisces is saying there's an inside job here. Give me more. Pisces, we also see somebody is alive. There was somebody, there was an inside job to keep somebody alive. There was an inside job done to maybe hide somebody. This could have been done by the Illuminati. This could be the confession, the Illuminati hub. So that is a period or it's a place where there's a hub of people who are part of a group. That could be anywhere in the world. There's a confession. There's a confession about something being an inside job. Also, intergalactic travel. Somebody could be denying some sort of travel here having to do with nuclear. Somebody could be confessing something about somebody traveling to get away from nuclear. Give me more, please. What's going on with 
Pisces and this relationship with Cancer. We also have Big Pharma. So there's something about traveling. There's something about an inside job to keep somebody alive. Something about intergalactic travel, which is reverse. It could be a denial of it or something having to do with nuclear to get away or intergalactic travel is reversed. Maybe there's a failure of something new to get away from something nuclear. There's some connection with the church and big pharma. Give me more, please. Cancer, give me more. What else after the church? Outside. Something outside the church. Something's going to happen outside the church. There's a confession coming. There's a confession coming by an Illuminati hub. Somebody doesn't want you guys to know this. There's something nuclear about a church done from the outside. The outside is reversed. So somebody recruited somebody from the outside. But it looks like somebody on the inside recruited somebody on the outside. Something with the church, the Illuminati, a confession. Is a confession coming? Somebody's driving towards a confession here. This confession is being driven by a cancer or driven by a Sagittarius. There's an inside job, says Pisces, to keep somebody alive or hide somebody who's alive into intergalactic travel and big pharma uh intergalactic travel uh, uh listen if you don't really believe in that i think another way people are flying these days are by pills which is why you got big pharma here natural causes big pharma natural causes natural causes are it is coming out reverse here so there's something having to do with big pharma there's something having to do with somebody deeming something a natural cause it is not somebody could have passed away or somebody could have said somebody passed away by natural causes, but they did not. First off, there's somebody who's still alive here, but also if somebody was harmed or hurt, it wasn't natural. It was aggravated by big pharma. Somebody could have did something with pills. You could have a religious institution who is in bed with a big pharmaceutical company or companies. There's something with natural causes, big pharma. Natural causes comes out to be a lie. Give me the common energy, please. In this relationship with Cancer and Pisces. Transhumanism. That comes out reverse. Now, I'm glad I have this one out. Because I'm going to check that. That's why I'm trying to get everything set up the way I need it to. Hang on. You know. Alright, hold on. I'm going to look something up. Hold on, guys. I'm right here. I just want to check something. Got it. All right, let's see what this is. Philosophical and intellectual movement that advocates enhancement of human condition by developing and making widely. Hold on. Making where am I? Widely available sophisticated technologies that can greatly enhance longevity, cognition, and well-being. There's something that you guys try to do here. Some some sort of a intellectual movement it's an advocate group or something like that of human condition by developing and making widely available sophisticated technologies somebody tried to use a tried to use a sophisticated technology having to do with transhumanism it did it failed it didn't work there's a confession coming to somebody that something dif didn't work or there's a confession coming about something nuclear having to do with the church it was planned on the outside it was planned to be done on the outside of a church by somebody on the inside. There's a Pisces here. I don't know if there's, there's something about inside job, alive. Somebody traveled somewhere. Somebody could have taken off and run. Pisces, this could be your energy where you've taken off and run from a situation. I don't know if, and I. this is so outlandish to me because I don't know who would do this, but apparently people do. I remember on my earlier shows, I made reference to... Some story I always used to hear like my mother and them talking about. It was some guy that got up out the casket. So it's not far-fetched for somebody to try and fake their death, if you will. Hold on, let me plug this in. This is the second time. Hold on, y'all. All right. Yeah, it's not far-fetched for somebody to, to, somebody to pretend like they're past and they're not. Right? So I see something like that coming up here too, if that makes any sense. Right? Let's go ahead and get into it so I can end this read. We have the Six of Cups that comes up for Cancer. And I'm doing this read again because there are very specific things that I'm looking to point out. More so for myself. You guys are more than welcome to join me. We have the Six of Cups that comes up reversed. Somebody feels trapped by the past. Somebody's holding on to old ways. It says it's you, Cancer. You could be holding on to old ways. 
you believe that a particular relationship between you and Pisces has no future. So because you guys think this, you turn around, you go somewhere, maybe you go to, I don't know, you go to some event. Maybe you guys go to a vineyard for drinks or something like that, whatever it is, wherever you go, there's something where you guys meet up with old friends or old acquaintances, all right? These people have resurfaced, in some cases, out of the blue sky. But as you guys get to talking, I really feel like this has to do with some sort of an event here. Because with the Six of Cups, this is you living in the past. You dealt with people from the past, met up with them again. But there's something with unrealistic expectations. So that tells me that you had an expectation or had given birth to an idea before you met these people. Met up with them again, is what I'm saying. You had some sort of an idea, so we get that. I also see here, there's something where you came up. You were talking to these folks. You were sharing your drinks. There's something about future schemes and adventures. Those were the discussions that were had. How can we get this? Or what are you into? Or how can we How can we expand? And you know, how can I become a part of your business? And how can we help each other? All this stuff, right? So we have that that comes up. Now, something clearly went wrong with this because the Six of Cups living in the past. This is something where you had made deals with people before had these conversations, made negotiations or whatever this is, right? You had some unrealistic expectations. You thought these people were going to help you do something. For some of you guys, it left you in a place of sadness. For some of you, withdraw. But this is also mourning beyond reasonable limits. So whatever this plan was, you had to take away from it. You had to withdraw from it because it clearly wasn't going to work. But this is deep sadness, this is like withdrawal. I literally lost something. Like I lost, I don't know, I lost a jackpot. I was one whatever away. I walked away from the slot one minute and the person walked up and all of a sudden they hit. It's like that type of sickness, disappointment. Like you could literally throw up on yourselves. This is about a partnership, the cards are saying, and that's why I decided to read it this way. Cancer, on top of you being sad and upset and having to withdraw from this relationship, this partnership, whatever this is, the Ace of Pentacles, because I asked why. This is something having to do with your material success, your material happiness. The Ace of Pentacles talks about you guys having some sort of a new job, a new raise, a new investment is what I'm getting, but also it could have been a new promotion. I feel like for you guys, this is really about some investment. If you look at the text of it, this is financial gain in terms of going into some sort of a business. It has something to do with unexpected gifts. Now, I'm feeling like some of you guys may have been offered something. I'm offering an unexpected gift or somebody offered it to you. It says for you, Cancer, there was something with unexpected gifts, royalties, bonuses, and a competition win. So even if you didn't enter a contest, somebody could come to you and say, hey, you won a contest. Or Pisces said that to you. Hey, your name was entered. I'm like, I ain't entering nothing. Matter of fact, y'all, I found a magazine. when I, I put online when these people were sending me magazines. And I'm like, whatever. But I also put online. I never signed up for it. So I always make sure I cover myself, right? And because I've been, I've been doing that longer than I've actually been up here. I've been on Wacky Mo. So they sent me all this stuff. I found one the other day. It's all got Brad Pitt on it. All the stories of that time. And as, uh, as these things play out, everything starts to make more sense. So I'm actually going to, I got it over there. So when I pull it out and I might happen to be on my read, I'll show you guys. But it's the most, this whole story is so, these people have been doing this stuff for years. It's crazy. I don't know. I must be lit or something. I must, I'm a boring chick. I got sunflowers or whatever this is. And what y'all bothering with me for? I'm a car. What do you, what do you want? I must be saying something to aggravate you. So let me continue on. Let me stop. Anyway, it says here, there's something where you guys were supposed to get some sort of material gain. The part that I'm not necessarily clear on is who offered who what. I will say this, Ace of Pentacles, you have a new job, a new raise, new promotion. Somebody's putting it in your hand or you could be offering it. Somebody could have offered this to you. Could have been a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, Cancer, who offered you some new job, new promotion. Could have been another Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, as a matter of fact. It's Pisces that could have offered you this position here with this Ace of Pentacles. I got something for you. I don't know yet, but it says here you guys were planting the seed so you could have some sort of material success. The acquisition of money. So whatever you were investing in, you were hoping to get cash back or whatever you call it, whatever country you call it, right? 
you're hoping to get something tangible, right? Something that I can actually take out of the bank, put cash in hand, or something tangible. But this is Ace of Pentacles, and I feel like because this is financial acquisition, you guys, this is about cash. You were getting some money here, right? You're sad about this. And we also see here the Knight of Swords. I don't know if you react to this, right? You react to this or you make somebody an offer or somebody made you an offer. For some of you, you made somebody an offer, Cancer. You said to Pisces here, I need you to do this, right? But then they come back to you or you ask Pisces to do something, but you don't tell them the whole story. Pisces didn't get the whole story. It says Cancer. That there are serious consequences for withholding information. Knight of Swords comes out reverse for you. You love drama. You love it as long as you can manipulate from the sidelines. So somebody starts to trouble you. And then you go ahead and you aggravate the trouble by putting your little two cents in. In some cases, it's not going to be every cancer. This could be what Pisces does. right? So take the story how it resonates. Leave the rest behind. And the cards also go on to say that you create unnecessary conflict. So you have all these people fighting. It also says here that you retreated from a situation because you were in the midst of something with your Pisces or this group of people, whoever these folks are, right? These people who offered you a job. The cards go on to say that you realized that there was some sort of battle that was coming up or a battle had actually come up. I feel like the battle came up. And you suddenly lost aggressiveness towards this situation. So you had all this bold passion. Yeah, we're going to protest. We're going to fight. We're going to shut her channel down. We're going to do this and that. We're going to act like I was the one preaching when it was really her or him. Take it how it resonates. I'm going to act like it was mine. So you lose aggressiveness with this sort of, sort of stance. Once you realize the money ain't coming or something like that. You become passive in a situation that actually requires some sort of aggressiveness. So when people came and asked, started asking questions, Cancer, you backed up like a little, right? You're, you're, they suddenly, I don't know, shrinked. Maybe they disappeared. Your balls left. They weren't there anymore. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Libra Aquarius Gemini. This Libra Aquarius Gemini could have aggravated this situation where you were supposed to get some new finances. You were supposed to get some kind of money out of an investment. And you were left brokenhearted here if we were to go back up and look at it the other way. I will say this, Cancer, one thing you do need to know with this Six of Cups reversed here. The cards are saying that you are going to face some sort of changes to your immediate environment. That means things are going to switch up. People are going to leave. People are going to go. People are going to be in handcuffs. Some will be locked up. Something like that. Because somebody got aggravated. They didn't like what was going on. They like chaos. So they put you in it or you were attracted to this energy and you landed in sadness. Or, you know how hurt people hurt people? You guys could be hurt and this is what you gave somebody else because you didn't get this deal. Whatever happened. Seven of Swords comes up for Pisces here, right? The Seven of Swords comes up. This is dispossession. I want to say for some of you guys, there is a possibility that you could even be getting divorced. Especially when you look at this Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is coming up reversed here. This is telling us that there's something with violence. Cancer becomes a violent person or somebody tried to do something. Or Cancer's sad because of this acquisition of money not being successful. Or there's a Libra Aquarius Gemini who comes in and starts abusing something. Or beating somebody up. Possibility. But this is a violent person. They're cruel deliberately. So, Cancer, were you being cruel to Pisces deliberately? Or, Pisces, did you deliberately try and make Cancer sad by offering them something and then running away? Being cruel like a, like that? Seven of Swords comes up for Pisces. Pisces, dispossession. Pisces, the cards say that you face a potentially dangerous partner. It could be this Cancer. Or it could be another Cancer who's both up. They're trying to get both of y'all. Or this could just be simply Cancer dominating the whole, dominating the whole read here. Like I am the driver behind this relationship. I but I don't feel like that. I feel like it's a separate Cancer. So anyway, with you guys, you guys are up against this very dangerous adversary, which could be a Cancer. I feel like for some of you guys, you are going to need some brilliant strategy to outwit somebody. The Seven of Swords means that you tried to steal something or somebody tried to steal something from you. 
This is about theft. This is about betrayal. This is about somebody communicating with somebody they should not be communicating with. Leaving somebody sad and leaving two people to ultimately go away. Because with the chariot, when it comes up, there's some in some cases, the only thing you can do is walk away in order to cut your losses. But driving away from something. You guys are being advised here, Pisces, that you need to be cautious in all dealings. All dealings. Anything having to do with business. The cards also say that you need to take care of your property and possessions at this time because somebody's trying to steal something from you. This could be another cancer. Or this could be a cancer that you divorced from, walked away from, separated from. Maybe this is somebody you grew up with because these are memories back to childhood. This could be a sibling, right? This could be somebody who you were married to. You guys raised a family together, whatever this is about through cancer. So I don't know how long the relationship was, but I feel like it's a partnership. I feel like it's one that goes back. I do not find this romantic, but it is possible that it is. But I also feel like it could be two business partners who wanted to work on something, thought they could get something done. But cancer had very unrealistic expectations. But cancer also didn't speak the whole truth about what the task truly is. Or Pisces presented something to cancer and did not fully disclose what the project was about. What are the details? How are we going to carry it out? Is it going to be able to hold the scrutiny? So I feel like somebody gave somebody a bad offer and somebody was disappointment. Or I could look at this like somebody purposely went in, Pisces, purposely went into cancer. I purposely tried to take something from you or I'm, I'm purposely trying to ruin your family, take your house or something like that, right? We have the eight of cups that comes up. So Pisces, the cards are saying that you were tasked with doing something, right? But you have the eight of cups. This is a change of heart, an important decision affecting an established relationship. It says, Pisces, you thought a long time about doing this. You took the time, you thought about it. You took a long time, but the cards say that you still view this romance to be in a place where it should stand still. You're trying to figure out whether or not you want to walk away from it. Should I withdraw, right? So you have the Six of Cups here crying about the old ways, sadness and withdrawal, sadness and withdrawal. That's a differentiator. One is sad, extended sadness, beyond measures mourning, Six of Cups reversed. Eight of Cups is a little different. It's about a change of heart, something that you thought you were going to be able to do or thought about it and then realize maybe this is not a good idea. How about I just stop for now? Could have been this romance. The cards are saying here that there's nothing left to do in this relationship because somebody's not buying into something. The only thing one or both of you can do is walk away. And that's what I was telling you guys earlier. So somebody's cutting their losses here. Despite their best efforts, says Pisces, I tried. It didn't work. So you guys can you walk away. That's the only thing you can do. I feel like some of you guys tried to walk away. I feel like some of you could have been very addicted to your cancer. Like, I love you. Did it die? I want this to work. But it says you were stealing something from them. This is theft. This is betrayal. For some of you guys, you were sent in by another cancer to work on cancer to mess up their stuff to mess up their money, to treat them cruel. It could have been something you were advised to do. Now, the Eight of Cups says that somebody was stealing something from you. You guys wish things were different. Have to cut your losses. I have to walk away. But the devil, Capricorn energy comes up. This could have been another factor in your relationship. It could have been something with an addiction. It could have been something where somebody was trying to recruit you into something. Because I will tell you this. When I look at these cards, I see somebody trying to be, but somebody was trying to, to uh, betray somebody, which we see that. But it also says that you guys have a good chance of doing something successfully, but in prudence, which is being too out there, spending too much money, being too loud, could mess up something that you're trying to do when you need to move quiet. You could still be moving too loud. Eight of Cups, you guys have a change of heart. There's something that you don't want to do. You have to make a decision about an established relationship, somebody that you guys have been working with, and there's Ace of Pentacles at stake, new money, new job, this position. But there's temptation to take it. Temptation. If I take this, I'm going to have everything I need. I have the money. I have the drugs, the men, the women. I got the people crossing over the border. I got the young girls and guys going across state with this ring, and I'm getting money for everybody that they load up in the truck. Every time I steal one off the corner, they give me a cut for it. I'm driving a black Mercedes. All I got to do 
is pick up these couple of kids in a van at the corner, right? If I see a couple of girls, they look of age, go snatch them. See a couple of boys that look like they're a little frail, a little weak, go snatch them. Put them in a truck and I get all this money. So there's some temptation involved with this deal that was posed or offered. And that's what I'm getting. There was something with the deal. Um, I will tell you this though. Because I want to pull something, transhumanism. I want to pull something. Hold on, y'all. I'm tempted to take this, but somebody was being cruel. Cancer, it feels like you were being cruel. I'm not sure who was being cruel. I feel like both you guys were in cahoots. I feel like Cancer found something out. Either Cancer found out that there was going to be no success in this venture and started being sideways to Pisces like, are you crazy? What do you mean? You I feel like cancer ran away from whatever this deal is with Pisces. Like, what are you talking about? This cancer could have also, I'm sorry, this Pisces could have also um, been working with a Capricorn to extend some sort of a deal also. So I feel like there's this partnerships of some sort. I feel like the cancer and the main cancer in the read ran away. And that's where it's sad. It was a bad offer. Like, I can't do that. But this Pisces in this read, they said death, trail, death, betrayal, theft consists of taking people's children too. But it also says Pisces had a change of heart. But it also says the devil, they have an addiction. But the chariot card, somebody went on the road. So I think somebody still did it. Give me the common energy between the knight of swords and the devil. The knight of swords could have been somebody who was trying to take somebody hostage or kidnap a kid. Kidnapping people. Taking somebody hostage, that is picking up people off the corner. Or kids off the corner, right? And bringing them across state lines for your own agenda. That is a crime. That is a host. That's a host. That's kidnapping. That's hostage. So just to be clear about what that is. Cancer ran from the deal, it looks like. I don't know if they then sent a Capricorn in there to sweeten you up. But there was definitely another Cancer here who's the driving energy here. Somebody who moves fast. This is somebody who was trying to unite opposites bring people together who is very hard to it's like oil and water in a sense there's something here about fast changes coming up though this is for both you guys fast changes coming up and i'll get into that let me just get this energy right here and i'll get into that piece of it because this chariot piece of the read is actually really important for you guys you guys need to understand that the chariot card is a common energy here bioweapon somebody's using a bioweapon that's a common energy Somebody's using bioweapons on cancer. Somebody's using bioweapons on Pisces. The person using bioweapons is a chariot card. Now, if you go according to astrology, like I said, that's going to be a Sagittarius. But regular tarot, that's a cancer. This person is using bioweapons. It feels like whatever cancer knows, cancer is going to fess up about it. They're going to fess up about being a part of an Illuminati hub. They're going to tell about a nuclear something that was supposed to happen outside of a church. There's something that's going to happen outside of a church. It's going to be by something that drives by. I don't know what's driving by. This is a horse and carriage, but, you know, in our climate today, I don't know if this is, it could be, it could be a small town, but this person is, I don't know what this is. I'm going to say whatever this is, it's something that goes fast. Something is going to pass by and it's going to cause some nuclear something. Right. If we were to look at it from a regular perspective, meaning somebody could locally do something outside of a church. If we want to keep this local, if we wanted to keep this worldly, there could be something with a church, a big church. And there's going to be some sort of confession of something. Somebody could have a plan to do something outside of a church. I would check that. It seems to be a cancer. I would check that. Who else could be in charge of doing something outside this church? It could be a Pisces. Yup, this church could be located in a city based off what I see. This is not a rural church. If you live in a rural area and somebody decides to go after a rural church, maybe that's where the horse and carriage goes in or some slower way of life or something. I don't know. But it could happen to a church um, even in a small town too because somebody's trying to attack it. Something about underground. This is not going to be done underground. It's going to be above ground. You're going to be able to see it, whatever this is. Somebody was using a bioweapon, something about underground. Maybe the underground could mean literally underground. Underground could be under the scope. We don't want anybody to know. Give me more. Why is this card here? Okay, something about a banquet. Let me just get these. These cards are mixed in here. I don't know why, but I am going to take them. Let me just see what this actually... A job offer. Yup. 
This was about a job offer. Yep. Yep. Somebody offered somebody a job to do something. Cunning revol results. This is about somebody. This is cunning results. Our first card. Second card, a job offer. Somebody offers somebody a job to do something sideways. Something that is going to be done above ground. Something to a church. There's bioweapons being used. This confession is falling under a cancer. So either cancer, you confess this. Maybe you confess what this other cancer was trying to do to you or what their plan is. Second line, Pisces. Let me go ahead and get something. Somebody paid somebody to do something to the outside of a church. Transhumanism, some idea of technology, nuclear, whatever, something about traveling. I'm not sure really what that one is, but this really reminds me of some sort of, you know, you know, where something goes up in the air when you did uh, explosion. That's what it looks like. Buying an Illuminati hub. There's somebody to be somebody's a part of a group and they don't want nobody to know it. But something that was something that was deemed also Pisces is going to say there's an inside job to keep something alive or somebody alive. Intellect travel. That could simply mean that they went out of their way to hide somebody away. Meaning, so if you're from one state, I don't know if you're from Iowa, maybe they went to hide you in Florida, right? So whatever that means to you. But there's something about travel here. Transhumanism. Somebody could be trying this, or this could be um, investigated to see if they can get away from something nuclear that could happen outside of a church. But we also have here, this is Big Pharma. So Big Pharma might be trying to cover up something by saying something was natural cause. If something was caused by natural causes, natural causes, Big Pharma, but it's not. It was aggravated. Tell me more about this, please. Give me more. We see bioweapons were used, so we can say the nuclear uh, cause is actually a bioweapon. You could say that. Something underground. Somebody could be putting something from underground or something's going to be above ground. I feel like something's going to be above ground, but this bioweapon thing, somebody got something underground. I don't know. I don't know if they got wires under there or if they got, like, frequencies or whatever they got. I don't know. But something underground, it hits the air, and I guess it hits the people. Give me more, whatever that's about. More natural causes. Something that's saying, okay, deep state. This could be by deep state. It could be denial by deep state. Denial that something is, um, something's unnatural. They're going to deny it. They're going to say, oh, it was a natural cause. No, it wasn't. If big farmers got something to do with it. Also, a white-collar crime. That came up in the read, too. Somebody has a white-collar friend. For some of you guys, was it this read or was it Pisces or the other read? I think I just did another one. Somebody has a white collar crime friend. So there's some friend on the inside who does something having to do with the deep state. Somebody's a criminal or they will be Pisces. You could be a white collar criminal or you will be. No. No is reversed. So yes, somebody's going to be a white collar criminal. Somebody who has something to do with the military is going to be a white collar criminal. Maybe they went over to corporate after military. Evil corporation comes out reversed here. That could mean a decent corporation. Somebody could be part of a PSYOP project or something like that. Political warfare. I feel like it went wrong because the transhumanism stuff went wrong too. So it doesn't look like it's ending well for you. What else do we need to know here? Hold on. Um, there's something else I need to know. These. All right. What's going on here? Tell me what I need to know. Give me the devil. The devil is upright here. This is something about temptation, enslavement. This is where I got the human trafficking piece from. Somebody ran from a human trafficking deal or something like that. And the reason why that was one of the things that stuck out to me is because this definition goes on to say temptation, enslavement, addiction, prisoner, addiction, prisoner, right? And dead end affair. So you guys could have had a dead end affair, but I'm looking at this from the perspective of a business partnership. But if you were in love, this was a dead end affair. Also putting your energy into the wrong person or project. So I feel like there's a Pisces out there that may have some regrets that they had to walk away from something also, but this energy just seems 
like two business partners who got screwed by uh, a cancer. That's what it looks like. Now, we will say human and sex trafficking does come up here with this dead-end affair, something with a project, something with lust, greed, an urge for power. But it also says here that this Pisces practice black magic because it tells us how to break the spell. That suggests that somebody used the spell. Give me more. What do we need to know about um, this devil? Please give me the devil. We have some crimes against children. That's what I thought. There's some kind of traffic in here. It does come out reverse here. But remember, somebody ran away from this trafficking deal. Crimes against children comes out reverse. Somebody ran. But that's what this was about. That devil card. I have an offer for you. I have an offer for you. It's, I'm tempted because of the money. I'm tempted because of this and that. The Ace of Pentacles, I'm tempted. And this is a fantasy. This could have been somebody's fantasy too. It was somebody's fantasy. All right. So, you know, fantasy could mean that they had fantasies about crimes against children or on top of crimes against children. Somebody also had a fantasy. It could have been a particular woman or whatever that's about. Give me more. We also see same sex relationships. So I just think this person has whoever these, whatever this is, whatever this offer is, Pisces, that you gave cancer or cancer gave you. Cancer said, no, I'm not going to do the, the child thing. And no, I'm not fascinated with this one and that one. And no, I ain't about the same sex relationship. But Pisces, I think that's what you were probably offering cancer. Somebody turned it down. I don't know who. But that's what that was about, that devil card. This is about fantasies and addictions and attractions and to things that are unusual. You know, I'm sure to some some folk, that's perfectly normal. That's fine. But I think to regular society, um, nobody wants people running around looking at their kids and all this other stuff. Um, you know, I would think I would think that's one of the places where the judge should have some mercy. I read something one time, some man walked in on some other gentleman. I think it was a birth doing something, Lord. I know that man, according to the records, that man beat the bricks off and, you know, I don't know. I, I you, that, I ain't going to say too much because, let's put it this way. I, I ain't really blame, I ain't blame that man one minute. I would have did all he did and more. I believe that, I think they let him out of jail too. They sure did. They arrested him. Because he was in a small town, and the cop came, and he said, what? And they let that man right on out to jail, and I don't blame him. When you walk in on some crap, boy, Lord. Mm. Mm. Anyway, let me get a conversation. Is there anything else I need to? Yeah, I got one more question here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch out for somebody hurting themselves. Somebody's really depressed. Give me this chariot. If they were to take off, because the chariot is about somebody on the road. Somebody's on the road having sex, right? Somebody has entertainment. It's entertainment on the road. It's sex on the road, right? There's drinking on the road. Somebody gets arrested for drunk driving or something like that. Vehicular, vehicular manslaughter. Somebody ends up being taken out, or this is a desire of this cancer for somebody to be taken out. In some cases, it's by car. Somebody's going to get a new car and not really know how to drive it so get to know your car before you do all this crazy stuff don't just jump in it and go crazy know all the ins and outs so somebody's trying to off you hold on with a car somebody is gonna drink while driving and this they're gonna end up hurting somebody and i think that's what this this pisces this pisces this cancer wants you to go out of your mind so you do all this crazy stuff right so just to get back to that somebody wants revenge on both you guys here all right you guys want to understand that there are going to be some immediate changes, right? Especially for you, Cancer. But this is particularly at your job. There's going to be some changes in this job, in this relationship. And it also says in the community. So there could be a community of people involved in this, right? Getting something done. That could be this Illuminati hub who are throwing the bioweapons. I feel like there's a bunch of stuff going on. There's a bunch of moving parts and I feel like there are different groups here, but there are definitely confessions that we see somebody in the military or something like that. We see something with a bioweapon here. But the chariot card, somebody's very sensitive to adjustments, meaning this cancer, who's ever in between your energy, whenever you guys move, they feel very, they don't like it. Somebody's a sex offender. This person's a sex offender. They don't want anybody to move the wrong way. I feel like they don't want people to know they're a sex offender. Something like that. We also have human trafficking because I did say 
what is going on with this chariot? What are people moving across country? There's a sex offender who is human trafficking, right? They don't want anybody to know that. But we knew that with the devil card. Crimes against children and human trafficking comes up. Somebody's a sex offender or they could be an accused human trafficking, but they're definitely a sex offender. They definitely strip before and they don't want nobody to know about the human trafficking. But it's clearly here. It's upright. As a matter of fact, that's what that trip or that offer of money is about. And that's why cancer over here ran away from the deal. Pisces, I believe, offered this deal. They were trying to betray somebody. Remember, they withheld information purposely from Cancer. Or Cancer, you purposely withheld information from Pisces. This is a really twisted, warped partnership. It's twisted, it's warped. There's something with a mistress involved. Y'all got mistresses. The chariot could be the mistress. The mistress could be a sex offender, a stripper. This person could be involved in tra human trafficking or been a victim of it. Probably still in it. Because they're stripping and stuff. It could be male or female. They're a third party. So mistress mistress and third party are the same thing. Confirmation. Somebody's mistress is wreaking havoc, right? Somebody's mad at somebody. I don't know if this lady was dealing with both of y'all or whatever this is or whoever is going on. But at the end of the day, you got this party here. Whether he or she dated you or you before, they're mad and both of y'all is going to go down. That's all I'm saying. So that was it. I just wanted to make sure that there was. So I do see something. Somebody's using bioweapons. Somebody did something. It was a payoff here. It was a payoff to hide human trafficking. Pisces made an offer to cancer. Cancer probably refused. I don't know who made the deal to who, but somebody made a deal. Right? Because these are partners here. They knew what they were going to do. I just feel like somebody concealed information per the text that says cancer concealed information. Failure to disclose all the information is going to entail consequences after. It says cancer didn't tell the whole story to the Pisces. It says that maybe cancer didn't tell everything. And once they found out all the details, they go into the Eight of Cups where it's a change of heart. I'm not going to do this. But then they go into devil energy. I am tempted. It's temptation. Hmm. But there's something about dispossession. I don't know what this is. Temptation. I had a change of heart, dispossession. I don't know. Some of y'all Pisces could have been in trafficking. You could have been trafficked out by a Capricorn. For some of you guys, you could have had to cut your losses to get out of something because you were betrayed with the Seven of Swords. For some of you guys, you're driving away from this situation. But for some of you guys, there's a Cancer energy here. Who is messing up y'all's stuff, y'all's business, or whatever you got going on. It's projects, it's big pharma pills, strippers, human trafficking. It's like all manner or whatever. But if I look at this from a business perspective, I'm going to, well, this is, this is, this ain't no type of business I would do. But yeah, this is about the business of people and bioweapons. Somebody needed to, can ha to have control of the inners. Before they could control the hours. It actually says that. It says, before taking on outer enemies, it is essential to be in charge of inner opposites. You guys will not be bipartisan, is the common energy. We will not be bipartisan. Any minor adjustments, we feel it. There are going to be some fast changes. Ever life changing cycles. Whatever that means to you. Now. I don't want those complicated ones. I'm going to get these because this is not no lovey-dovey. Hold up, y'all. Give me the conversation, please. Give me cancer. I want to know what cancer has to say. Yeah, because I got a minute left. What does cancer have to say to Pisces? I don't want to call this crime. I don't know what this is. I'm just, it's a different read, whatever. Give me uh, cancer's energy. What does cancer have to say to Pisces? What does cancer have to say to Pisces? Energy, please. Cancer. What do you have to say to Pisces, Cancer? Uh oh, one almost. I don't. There's too many of them. Hold on, y'all. Cancer. What do you have to say to Pisces, please? Cancer. <laughs> I miss you so much. It hurts. I don't miss you. It doesn't hurt. I'm glad you're gone. Oh my goodness. I don't miss you. Give me more. You got me. No, oh, because you ain't take. You complete. You do not complete me. We did. We're not able to get this money. You didn't do anything. Disappointment, withdrawal, sadness. I'm mourning the fact that I wasn't able to get this bread. 
We also have here, I don't miss you. I do miss you. I feel like cancer is mad at you. I don't miss you. I do miss you. Pisces, what do you have to say to cancer? I feel like you guys are not talking. I feel like some you guys are learning you don't need each other. We fit together like a puzzle piece. It came out reverse. We don't fit together. There's some admission that you guys don't fit together. So Pisces is like sharing the same sentiment in a sense. We don't fit together, but you never know. Let's go back. Pisces, what do you have to say to Cancer? Pisces, what do you have to say to Cancer? Okay. You make me feel dead. My life is over. We 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 don't fit together. You do not make me feel alive. You make me feel dead. I do love you. You guys don't like each other, I don't think. But I think there's certain things that you do like about each other. I don't miss you. I do miss you. I don't love you. I do love you. I feel like this is a complicated relationship. I feel like people don't like what the other one does. I feel like some of you guys are divorced if you're married. I feel like this is a partnership gone wrong. Somebody offered somebody a deal, job, position, acquisition of money, but didn't disclose all the details of how the bread would be acquired, right? I want you in my arms. I feel like you guys want to be in bed together in terms of finances. <laughs> Betrayal. Yep. You sold me down the river. Somebody knew somebody was working with somebody else. The betrayal could also be cancer withholding or concealing information that they're going to suffer the consequences for. You deserve better than me. That's the common energy that you guys are thinking for each other. You deserve better than me. Anyway, this was a little bit different, but whatever. I think I got what I needed out of it. So I think I got what I needed. This chariot, tell me something. Hold on. Specifically, tell me this chariot. I think the chariot's a mistress. It's definitely a mistress. Yeah, I got a side chick who does magic. The side chick could also be a Virgo or a Gemini. Somebody who uses their creative power. Yeah, this person is reaching out to people. They're doing all types of stuff, even doing magic in a sense. But this magic is not necessarily dark, but it is about reaching out to contacts who can make things move when it's upright. It's focused creativity, using things that you learn and people contacts to get the results that you want. And it might just be reaching out, hey, do you know so-and-so getting connected? But the dark stuff, we're just sending people to put rats in front of your greenhouse and all this other stuff. That's where the dark magic comes in. That's when they start hopping around in their outfits, right, and burning stuff. And then they go get your cat from out the backyard and pretend like they ain't do it. Then you got, you know, chicks out here acting like they can sing and they really can't. Sit your down with your stink breath. Just say it. People like that. They want people to think they good and they ain't. Just sit down. It's all going to come out. Just saying. I ain't talking about nobody in particular. I'm just saying. Chicks going to see. Since they want to mess around in people's backyard. But then when you turn around and give it back to them. They want to cry. They want to go to another country and be a bad. Get out of here with that. Shit, I'm outside every day. A day. And you know it. Because you too shook. Because you trying to figure stuff out. <laughs> You trying to figure stuff out? But you had it all together when you was making bodies disappear, though, right? Because you was mad. Because your dude was looking at other chicks. Because you ain't hot. Because your breath stink like that. Because you think you better. And you broke. You about broke as I am, fronting. <laughs> Child, please. Anyway, that's all I have for y'all. I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. I, 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 I. Please. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.